Hey guys, welcome back. Thank you so much for watching if you are. So, if you haven't watched my previous vlog, I will link it up here or down below for you. <laughs> Go and watch it, please. Um, then you will not know that we recently have returned back to uh, the Maldives. Um, coming back from a three-week holiday back home in South Africa. So as soon as I hit South African shores, I barged into Kicks and Disc Hem and did a lot of makeup shopping. So it is absolute torture living on an island and seeing these sort of uh, drugstore or Disc Hem Kicks brands come out with new, exciting, amazing products and I can't get my hands on them. So I had an entire list, a game plan, a strategy and I did it. I went in and I bought a crap ton of products. I shopped until I couldn't take more, much to Carl's dismay. So today's video is going to be a sort of drugstore Clix Dischem um, makeup taste and try, review, haul, pretty much all in one. So I will show you um, all of the things that I got and tell you what I think about them. So I've been testing these products out for about two weeks now because I wanted to have a really informed decision made about each and every one of these products so I can let you know which ones you need and which ones you don't. Unfortunately for you guys I pretty much loved everything except for one product so it's gonna cost you a pretty penny if you were to take my advice which you need to because you will thank me. You will thank me. These products are incredible. Their price point and their capability is just literally adorable. I can't. So I created a sort of everyday natural, well, natural look and this was the look that I wore there pretty much every single day and um, it's really quick and easy but still you look really really well presented and put together. Okay so now that you can see all my makeup listeners <laughs> very up close, let's get started. So the first product that I picked up, the Revolution Baking Oil. This baking oil guys is incredible. So just FYI, I have a dry skin and the foundation look that I like to go for is that dewy sort of glowing skin and this stuff is absolutely incredible if you are after that sort of finish with your foundation and so I literally will just drop a couple of drops on my face and massage it into my skin with my hands. Now it's not an overly oily texture. So that sounds a bit weird because it is an oil, but the skin really soaks up really, really fast. So I absolutely love this product and I will continue to repurchase it when I run out because I just love it. And it's been making such a difference to the way my foundation and the rest of my makeup sit on top of my skin. So definitely recommend this. Okay, now the next two products I was the most excited to pick up because I had seen them whilst over here and I just, I couldn't wait to pick these two products up. So I was actually just going for the one and then I saw the other one as well. So I picked both of them up. They come in different shades. The first one I picked up is the Next Away We Glow Drops. Now again, this comes in different shades. I got the pinkish tone one called Snatch. Now I actually wanted the champagne toned one but they ran out of stock so I picked up the pink one. And then I saw that Revolution also do drops. And so I had to pick this one up because the champagne shade they had in stock. So I had to pick it up and this one is in liquid luminous gold. Now both of these products are incredible. I've been using uh, the Revolution one more just because it's the um, tone that I prefer. Um, but I absolutely love these as well. So I'm going to be using these ones on camera just because I've used those so often and I wanted to just give this one a little go on camera love the glowy look so I put crap ton on my face and then I will go in with my beauty blender or my morphe sponge this one I also picked up also from musebeauty.com guys please excuse the dirt I know it's gross so this one is the one that comes with the sharp little edge perfect for if you want to bake or carve your cheekbones out and I literally do everything with this one sponge and it is the most convenient thing in the world I'm obsessed with this sponge next ones aren't as pigmented or as intense as the revolution ones I found so I would say these ones are more for an everyday look or more of a subtle look whereas those revolution ones are really 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 pigmented and 
so good for like a glam look which is my favorite so as you can see my skin is looking really really glowy and healthy and that's even before we go in with any sort of makeup product so that is my favorite trick of all time is to use pre-makeup products before I go in with a craft ton of makeup because the more uh, sort of amazing your skin looks naturally the better your foundation will look the next one I picked up is the L'Oreal infallible stick foundation I was so excited to get my hands on these um, just because I've heard a lot of good things they are so easy to use it's literally just a stick foundation and it rolls up and you can smear it on your face blend it out and bob your ankles and I absolutely love it for an everyday foundation like I said, it is so easy and simple, you l I literally will swipe it on everywhere and blend it out with my beauty sponge. It is so easy, it takes me so quick to get my foundation on and blended and looking great. Um, so for an everyday foundation, absolutely 100% recommend. I definitely will be uh, repurchasing this. The coverage is, I wouldn't say it's a full coverage. I'd definitely say it's more of a medium coverage, but definitely buildable. Again, it gives like a luminous sort of fresh finish to the skin, which again, I absolutely love. I'm a little bit closer. I am sorry if you <laughs> don't enjoy it. But I don't know if you can see, it's definitely not a full coverage foundation like I said, but it covers enough for an everyday look and I find that it definitely is buildable. Okay, then for concealers, I picked up two different brands. The Maybelline Fit Me concealers, I picked it up in two different shades because I've heard so many good things about it. The second one I picked up is the Revolution Concealer and Define Concealer. Again, I've heard incredible things about this, so I had to pick both of these up. Whilst I was choosing my shade, I literally just picked one up and with the revolution one it's definitely more of a pinky sort of beigey tone i prefer a pinky toned one for correcting underneath my eyes so for highlighting i definitely prefer a more yellow toned concealer which the maybelline fit me ones that are both of them that i got off so what i've been doing i've been using the revolution one just first just a little little bit underneath my eyes to correct because as you can see it's really really pink toned so that will correct any of the blue sort of bruise-like looking things underneath my eyes. So I will correct using this concealer. And the coverage of this concealer really, really shocked me. It's such good coverage for the price is ridiculous. So I definitely would recommend both of these concealers. Um, and they do have other shades in this. So the next time I pick it up, I'll definitely look for more of a yellow tone shade. But this has been working beautifully to correct the, under, uh, the discoloration underneath my eyes. I'll then take the Maybelline Fit Me. This one, I got mine in shade 20 and then in shade 15, just depending on how tan I am, for highlighting purposes as well. wanting to pick up one concealer I would definitely pick up the revolution one but more in a yellow tone because the coverage is a little bit higher as well and the low fit application uh, applicator is a lot bigger as well so I don't know I just prefer this one slightly but I'll definitely be picking both of these up again anyway okay the next product I was so excited to see and picked it up immediately was the essence glow to go spray now they have different sprays, they had the hydrating spray, the go to go spray and I think they also have a matte spray. absolutely love the setting spray, the only thing is when you do spray it on your face, you do get little reflexes of bigger sp spurts of the reflexes on your face which you have to blend out immediately otherwise they kind of dry and it just looks weird. So I don't know if you can see like those little, um, they're pretty much all over. So you get like hyper spurts on your hyper spurts in your face but what I have done is literally will go in immediately with my beauty blender and just push the product into my skin and dissolve those little sort of raindrops of glow and then it makes my skin look extra glowy. 
The next product that I had to pick up and I was super stoked to pick this up is a loose powder. This one is the Yardley Absolute Translucent Loose Powder. It also comes with a little powder puff which I was so excited about as well. really really been enjoying this powder um, it doesn't change the color of my foundation it doesn't leave white cast um, it sets it it still leaves me looking glowy it's amazing affordable you get a huge tub plus you get a little um, powder puff so highly highly recommend this love it okay guys now guys I didn't get any product for contouring or bronzing or blush so I will leave that out I have just popped off camera and put on a little bit of blush because I can't not do blush but for my highlight I got the LA Girl strobe light strobing powder now these come in several different shades I already own the pinkish pinkish shade so I had to pick up the some of the other shades this has been it hasn't been as pigmented as the pink one which I've already shown on camera um, but I have enjoyed the tone of this so this is more of a champagne tone But like I said, the pinkish one that I own is definitely a little bit more pigmented than this one. But this has been perfect for every day and again is really, really buildable if you're wanting that overly glam look. ultra precise brow pencil guys now this I absolutely love it comes with a little spoolie and then it's one of those retractable little pencils my pencils I find that they are the easiest quickest way to draw my eyebrows on but the only thing is I must have used this literally maybe 12 times max use it once a day and it's already run out like there's nothing nothing left so that was a bit of a joke. I absolutely loved the pencil and was going to rave about it but I won't be repurchasing this just because it lasted me 12 days and I only used it once a day. So that was very very disappointing but love the product but it doesn't last long enough at all so I will not be repurchasing this. And I'm so sad because it was so easy just to fill my brows in so I will have to do my brows off camera quickly. I have discussed these lip liners on my channel before. These are the smudge lip liners available at Clicks, guys. These are my absolutely favorite lip liners ever. They are so, so creamy, easy to apply, stay on your lips. I just, I can't say enough. And they're only 39 Rand, I believe. They are beautiful. I then picked up a few soft matte lip creams from NYX. The first one I picked up was in the shade Cairo. This is a beautiful, very light nude shade. It is so beautiful this color, I absolutely love it. The second one that I picked up is in the shade Athens and this is a little bit of a darker nude, um, more of a darker sort of what, brownie pinky nude. So I've been mixing these two shades together along with, these, with this smudge lip liner and it has made the most beautiful lip combination ever. our sort of drugstore everyday makeup look off with is again something that I've raved about on my channel before it is the Essence Volume Stylist 18 hour mascara I've been repurchasing this one for nearly two years now and I absolutely love it will not stop repurchasing it so definitely get your hands on this little purple tube it's incredible spray and then just make sure to dab it in so that there's no flakes of reflex in your face presentable with my hair okay guys so that is the finished everyday sort of drugstore or 
I don't know what we call it in South Africa. Chemist just came clicks um, magnet look. I was absolutely shocked at all of these products for their price and their capability is just unbeatable. Um, thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed how the makeup look turned out and definitely try some of these products, if not all of them, because you will not be sorry. They are really, really incredible. Also look out for my upcoming um, videos using my new palettes because I'm super excited to do those as well. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe, share or like. It would really, really, really make my day and my Christmas and my year. Um, I hope you guys have an amazing December and I will see you in my next one. Thanks guys. Bye.